Hello and welcome to Linux Lounge's Apps of the Month. This month, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. While usually I talk about desktop Linux apps, today I'm going to be telling you about some open source Android apps. First, we're going to be taking a look at Unlauncher, the Android launcher that aims to tackle smartphone addiction. Next, we'll be taking a look at Katima, an app for storing loyalty cards, tickets, and any other barcodes or QR codes that you might want to have in one place. After that, we're going to be looking at Termux, an app that gives you a Linux terminal on your Android device. Finally, we're going to look at Simple Markdown, one of the best open source writing programs available on Android. All of that is coming up right now on the Linux Lounge. Unlauncher is a minimalist Android launcher that's meant to help you cut down on the amount of time you spend on your phone. To do that, it provides you with a simple, yet still incredibly sleek and polished, text-based home screen without the bells and whistles of other launchers. Personally, I find this launcher's UI to be very reminiscent of the Light Phone 2, which is a good thing because the Light Phone 2 is a minimalistic dog phone that I absolutely adore. Now, this launcher may be minimalist, but don't for a second think that it's lacking in features. This launcher allows you to pin your favourite apps to the home screen, show and hide apps in the app drawer, select from a wide variety of themes, tweak every little small detail in the UI, and more. Of course though, a launcher like this wouldn't be any good, if it didn't actually help with its intended goal. So, does it? Well, I'd certainly say so. I've noticed that when I've used this launcher in the past, I found my phone far less enticing, which is why I'm recommending it here. So, although I'm a sample size of one, I think that my experiences definitely have to count for at least something. At any rate, this app is free and open source, so what do you have to lose by trying it out? The next app that we're going to be talking about is one that I didn't actually know that I needed until I had it, Katima. Katima allows you to import any barcodes or QR codes that you may have using either your camera, an image stored on your device, or a PDF file on your device. Once you've imported the barcode, you can display them from within the app. The idea here is that you can use it to keep all of your loyalty cards, tickets, or other codes in one place in order to easily display them when needed. Personally, I found this app extremely useful for replacing a number of bloated and closed source loyalty card and ticket apps. This app has a number of neat quality of life features too. For example, you can create groups for your barcode and import and export data in case you want to keep your barcode synced across devices or in case you end up switching devices. Overall, Katima is an incredibly simple concept yet it's still become one of my favourite apps just because of how useful it is. The next app that we're going to be talking about is called Termux. Termux is an app that gives you a fully functional Linux terminal on your Android device. While that might seem gimmicky and not very useful at a first glance, it's actually really cool and really useful. For example, I can imagine a lot of the viewers of my channel might want to use it for SSHing into servers from their phones. I've also used it on tablets with keyboards in order to run command line software, which by the way is readily available thanks to this app's built-in package manager. This app also has a variety of extensions available, including an extension that adds a bunch of different themes. Finally, you can use this app to run Arch Linux on your phone. I mean, does it get much cooler than that? Imagine the amount of Reddit karma you would get from running Arch Linux on your phone. The final app that I want to talk about is Simple Markdown, which does exactly what the name implies. It allows you to write documents on your Android device using the Markdown markup language, which is basically a highly compatible way to add formatting to plain text documents. The app also offers some extra niceties such as a dark mode, markdown preview, and support for exporting your documents as markdown files or as PDF documents. 
Despite this simplicity, however, this little app is probably one of the best writing apps for Android in the sense that it just lets you sit down and write without any bells and whistles. Now, who could ask for more than that? Maybe me, because I'd like a word counter and spell checker in this app, but otherwise I completely love this app. So in conclusion, those are four different Android apps that I would highly recommend. But what do you think? Do you use any of these apps? Are there any apps that you would recommend? Let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.